Hey guys, Miranda here, and I have a little cook with me for you guys today. I know it's been a while since I've done one. Um, so today we are making scallop corn. Now, I made this for Thanksgiving, I made it for Christmas, and like everybody at Christmas was raving about it, and so I really love this recipe. It is so good, you guys. So I've just, we've been loving it. So I'm actually making a little ham dinner tonight. So I thought I would go ahead and make my scallop corn. So let me show you guys what you are going to need. Um, so you're going to need a can of whole kernel corn. You're also going to need a can of cream corn. Now, if you're a Dumbo like me, <laughs> I grabbed a can of corn the other day thinking it was regular corn and it turned out to be cream corn. <laughs> so I don't know if y'all have ever done that, but yeah. So I already have the cream corn here, but I just wanted to get the can to show you guys. You're going to need two eggs, two tablespoons of butter, which we will melt. You're also going to need an onion, some French fried onions, you're going to need just one sleeve of Ritz crackers. And then you're also going to need some cheese. You can do any kind of cheese. I'm using the Colby Jack. Um, you can use like cheddar cheese, whatever you prefer. The recipe calls for one cup, but if you're a cheese lover like me, then I'll probably end up using this whole bag. <laughs> so, anywho, let's go ahead and get into this recipe, you guys. All right, so I went ahead and chopped up my onion, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add it into my bowl here. Then I did also drain the whole kernel corn, so we're gonna go ahead and add that in here as well. I'm going to add the cream corn. All right, so I did take my two eggs, you guys, and I did beat them, so we're gonna go ahead and add the eggs in here, as well as the two tablespoons of melted butter. And that when, what we're gonna do with the Ritz crackers is we're gonna crush them up and add them into the mixture. Take a little bunch of them and just start crushing them up. You guys, this stuff is, is seriously, it's so good, you guys. It's so savory, so flavorful. little bit here now technically the recipe tells you to add the French onions on top thank you mama um, but what I like to do these things are so good you guys I like to take some of these and add them to the mixture. I mean, just however much you want. But still save some to, you know, top it with. All right, so we're gonna add just some, a little bit of pepper. And then also some salt to your liking. And then we're going to add the cheese. Like I said, I'm a cheese lover, so I'll probably be adding quite a bit. So 
So once everything is in here, your mixture kind of looks like that. So we're gonna go ahead and just mix everything together now. Just incorporate it all very well. already smells so good. All right. And now once it's been all incorporated, we're going to go ahead and add it to our pan. All right, so to a greased baking dish, we're gonna go ahead and just add in this mixture. So it just looks like that. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven at 350 degrees for 40 minutes. And then once 40 minutes is up, we're gonna go ahead and top it with a little bit more cheese and a little bit more of the fried onions. And then we'll put it back in for like another, you know, five minutes or until the cheese is melted. All right, so after 40 minutes in the oven, we're going to go ahead, add some cheese on top and some more of the French onions. Okay. No, mijo, it's okay. Like I said... Pop this back in the oven for another like five to ten minutes just until the cheese melts on top and the onions get nice and crispy. All right, and there you have it, you guys. The finished product may have left it in just a tad bit long, but that's okay. You get the idea. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and I hope you guys do give it a try. Thanks for watching and see you soon.